welcome to Stardew Sunday. So, um, basically this is going to be a new series on this channel, and what I'm doing is basically starting out with a character who I haven't used much, um, and um, when I say that, I mean I am like a week in game time into this character so really have not used her a lot. Um, as you can see it's raining out which is kind of nice because it means I don't actually have to water my plants at all. Um, but I am currently planning on trying to basically set up my farm to be a lot prettier than <laughs> most of my uh, farms are. So what I want to do is get rid of a bunch of trees and clear out a bunch of area so that I can instead use this space for paths and that kind of thing. Paths and fences and such. Um, because most of my farms are very utilitarian, I guess. Um, but I want to make this one nice to look at, which is not something I usually do in this game. And probably after I sleep in-game, I'm going to actually head down to the mines, because that will allow me to get some uh, copper ore, which will let me make a furnace. And yeah, I, I am really uh, new to this character. I can actually get rid of those saplings, because I want to a bit smarter with how I plant trees in this save than I usually am. Uh, right, so I was saying once I get that stuff I will be able to, um, once I get some copper I'll be able to make copper bars which will allow me to upgrade my tools which will both make them a bit quicker and make it so that they use up less energy. This is three things I just realized, but the third thing is it'll also make it so that um, I can chop down more kinds of uh, more kinds of logs, boulders, and so on, which will allow me to clear up a lot more space here. And if you're not familiar with Stardew Valley, basically, it's just a farming simulator uh, where you, your character has recently moved into uh, their grandpa's farm, and they're basically trying to take it over, um, despite being a city slicker. So, um, I am doing that. I'm just basically running the place. Yeah, stone. Uh, wood fences are not very good, uh, so they deteriorate a lot more quickly than they might otherwise, which is unfortunate, but can't really be helped um, at the moment. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about early Stardew Valley play is you basically start to feel exhausted instantly whenever you do anything, which does not tend to be very efficient, but can't be helped. 
Uh, so I'm basically going to put this stuff away, grab a sword, and prepare to tomorrow in game uh, go into the mines so that I can uh, get some copper and stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, so that just means that I leveled up in one of the skills in this game. Uh, because I just chopped down a bunch of trees. Ooh, what's this? That's a nail. Dear Farmer Helga, I'd like to apologize for choking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. Uh, with the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Robin. So, yeah, basically, if I bring Robin, the carpenter who lives a little up north from here, uh, some some wood and some money, she can make my house bigger. So I am planning on doing that, but not right now. Right now I have other things to attend to. Um, and yeah, that's, this is Robin's house. Looks a lot nicer than mine, but I guess that kind of makes sense because she's a carpenter. Those are just, by the way, those are just some uh, foraged plants I've picked up. And this is the local homeless man, uh, Linus, who really likes foraged plants, so it's actually quite easy to become friends with him, because a lot of them grow on the way to his tent. Another nice thing about all of the foraged items on the way here is they're good for eating when you inevitably run out of health and or energy down in the mines. So that little notification I just got basically was saying that I have completed a quest, um, or at least gotten most of the way to completing a quest, because I have killed a bunch of slimes. Uh, so now I can enter the Adventurer's Guild, which basically just means when I have extra weapons and stuff, I can sell it to them. That's basically all they do.
gonna get rid of this fiber. Right, so that was essentially... Yeah, these things are enemies. I think they're called rock crabs or something like that. Oh, gross bugs. Uh, but rock crabs basically disguise themselves as stones, but then when you try to break them, it turns out they're actually monsters. Oh no. And these, yeah, those bugs were starting to get quite annoying, so I'm glad that I was able to kill them. For some reason, the rock crabs sometimes drop cherry bombs. I don't really know why, but it's a nice source of explosives, which is quite handy in a mine, so I guess I'm not complaining. Oh, yeah, these guys are like moles, I think. Evil moles that want to kill you. I guess not really evil. I don't think moles are probably capable of evil. In D&D terms, they're unaligned. Or neutral if you're in an old enough edition that unaligned isn't a thing yet. But same point. Yeah, so you basically just have to move out of the way once they show themselves, so that you don't accidentally, uh, get hit by them. Mold thingies. Uh, and what I just picked up is mixed seeds, which basically just means they're wildly generated, or randomly generated seeds that show up, and they can basically be anything, but you don't know until you actually plant it. And that probably sounds bad, but it's pretty good for for new players, at least. Because free seeds doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really matter that much what they are. It's just nice seeds. Okay, I think I'm going to head down that ladder. Uh, the nice thing about reaching a level of the mines that's divisible by 10, or 5, obviously 15 isn't divisible by 10, divisible by 5 is that it means that when you use the elevator you can reach it again later. So it's basically like a checkpoint. Alright, minecart's out of order. That takes a while to restore, but it's very handy once you've done that. and I'm going to put some of my items away because I have a very limited inventory right now. I haven't gotten any backpack upgrades yet. Um, and then I'm going to head back to the Adventurer's Guild, which is near the mines, so that I can complete the uh, initiation quest and sell some extra boots I have. Because <laughs> for some reason, the only people who will buy weapons and armor from you are the people running the Adventurer's Guild. I don't know why nobody else is even, like, willing to take it at all. Seems kind of weird to me, but that's how it is. think for a second. Okay. Right, that's what I was doing. I'm goofy. Okay. And I can also definitely put back this watering can, since it's raining out. Remember when I said earlier in this video that I wanted my farm to look pretty? Yeah, me neither. Uh, I'm, I'm just kidding, of course. That will take quite a while before I can actually make it look nice and pretty. I have no idea what that sound was. 
I think that's actually a frog now that I think about it. I can't believe it took me this long to figure out that sound was a frog. Oh well. It's beside the point. Yay, journal updated. Basically, this is just how many uh, wildlife can you slaughter. It's even called monster eradication goals. Jeez. Okay. I'm not going to bother buying any of this stuff. Not only because I can't afford it, but also because it's usually better when it's randomly generated anyways, so you're basically just wasting your money if you buy stuff from the Adventurer's Guild, in my opinion. Oh yeah, you want to kill these things before they can start forming a cocoon, because once they... Uh, once they come out of the cocoon, they're really annoying to deal with. Those little larvae things. Yeah, these guys. For some reason, once they start forming a cocoon, they're invincible, which is definitely uh, the opposite of how that works in real life. Oh crap, it did that. Okay. Well, that's annoying. I'm going to actually... I, I only have 40 out of 100 health. I'm going to leave now, especially since it's starting to get late in-game. Okay, so now I'm going to just head back to my house, put some stuff in a chest, uh, and probably head back to the mines tomorrow in the game. Not in real life. In real life, tomorrow is Minecraft Monday. So, that's what I'm going to be doing then. Actually, I've got a bit of energy left still. I might... I might take this time to clear out my farm a bit more, try and uh, get rid of some of these trees. On the other hand, for now I think I can probably leave the trees now that I think about it, because wood is very important, and my character moves very slowly right now, so I don't really want to risk... Yeah, I just built my first furnace, in case you were curious how much of a newbie this character is. Um, I was just saying, uh, basically... Right, so I don't... My character moves very slowly, because I don't have, like, a horse or anything, so it's going to take a while before going down to the forest south of my house is really going to be a viable alternative to just cutting down trees on my own farm and replanting them. So, for now I think I'll stick to that. But maybe I will plant some of these tree seeds and some of these various other seeds, because I don't really have a lot else going on at the moment. I got an achievement. Not an achievement, really. It's more like a quest. I might actually do some fishing for now, because I live on a riverland farm, 
which means that fishing on the farm itself is a lot more efficient than it would be in other uh, types of farm. And I want this character to be good at fishing, so... Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'm pretty good at the fishing minigame in this, if I do say so myself. Oh, it like lagged out. <laughs> nice. I actually like to save fish in this game, uh, cause they somewhat recently added fish ponds. Ooh, treasure chest. I'm going to grab that. Uh, they semi-recently added fish ponds, which are a very nice way of using fish to make a much greater profit than just selling them. And also, uh, sashimi is something you can make once you have a kitchen, and characters, uh, particularly Sebastian, who is probably my favorite character in this game, uh, characters tend to like sashimi quite a bit, so I'm just going to save my fish instead of selling it. Although, I am going to need to sell something sooner or later, because I am dead broke right now. I have no money. So... If I have something going on in the way of money, that'll be a nice way to, uh, not have 53 cents. You know, I used to think that the fishing minigame in this is, it like requires you to reel in slightly after you actually notice the fish, but I'm not sure that that's the case. I think it might just be completely luck dependent, whether or not you actually reel anything in when you reel in. Level 1 combat. Ooh, level 2 mining. So let me just check my skills. That is not what I was expecting for this character. I was expecting to be more farming and fishing oriented, but... Whatever. Oh crap, I need a scarecrow. But I don't think I can craft... Oh, I can. I just had him. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise, like we just saw, scare or crows will show up and start eating my crops like jerks. I think I'm actually going to put the scarecrow here. No, that's stupid. I'm going to put I'm gonna make a second scarecrow, and I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put the other at the farm I actually have right now. Because I am planning on starting a better farm over in that area that I was just at. And that I put the other scarecrow in. Excited to get a sprinkler so I don't have to keep watering crops by hand. Because that takes kind of a while. But anyway. I actually. I actually might. fence off this area is a little like. Yeah, I like that. 
I might fence it off and use it as like a little sort of orchard. But I think if I'm going to make an orchard, I want it to be a bit more structured and I want to include paths. So I think that's what I'll do right now. I actually think it would be a bit better to use um, vertical, vertical uh, lines for this rather than horizontal like I had been doing a second ago. Alright, so I'm going to make a couple fences and I'm going to fence gate or two, and I'm going to section off this here orchard that I've just made, which is what I'm going to be doing with any additional saplings I find as well. I think that's going to be quite nice. change of plans, I'm not going to go into the mines again right now. I am actually going to work on clearing out the farm a bit more. And then, more importantly, getting wood from the trees so that I can actually make more fences, as well as being able to get the saplings necessary to actually plant them here. Also, wood paths or floors or something to that effect would look nice. I can always move stuff around or add new stuff or whatever, so it's not a big deal that I have such a small area set out for my orchard, because I can always make another one, or I can just expand on the one I have right now. It's not a huge deal. I'm mostly talking to myself right now, because... I have not had a ton of experience trying to make a farm look pretty in this game, so it's kind of kind of making me nervous. Okay, yeah, this doesn't look great. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Oops, I just accidentally whacked my uh, headset. Yeah, what I think I'll do is change it back to being horizontal. Actually, I think I might just move this to a better spot in the first place. And somewhere that I can have more space for the orchard. I think that would be nice. Because trees are very common. I realize my health is, or energy is getting low, but I want to be able to get all of this done today in-game because I want to ensure that this wood doesn't decay, the wood fences don't, uh, because if the fence has decayed, then when you break it, it'll be too, uh, too rotten for you to actually get the fencing back, so it's important to me that I am able to do this all at once. But fortunately I ate some parsnips, so... I should be good for now. Yeah, this looks like a nice place to put my orchard. Okay, I'm gonna need some more parsnips because they're very plentiful, uh, so I'm not too worried about running out anytime soon. 
just a shame that this area has so much, um, whatchamacallit, uh, so much rubble here, essentially. Um, but that should be okay for now. Oh wait, I was starting to do something there, but I want to actually... I want to basically have enough space that I can walk around the edges of the fence as well as the inside. And I think to accomplish that... Oops, the fence just fell in the river. I was just gonna say, to accomplish that, I'm actually not going to include gates, because that would require me to put a fence right here, I think. Yeah, it would require me, require me to put one here. <laughs> I really could not talk for a sec there, and that blocks me from moving freely. So I'm not going to include gates in this section. I might not include any gates except for, uh, I'm planning on including gates, uh, let me back up. I might not include any gates because that'll make it more consistent, uh, and there are actually a couple instances where including gates would make it harder to walk places along the edge of the fence, but I am in, I am planning on including barns and coops for farm animals, uh, specifically like cows, chickens, pigs, etc. And to make things easier on myself, I'm planning on including fencing around those areas where I am going to allow my animals to walk. And those, I am going to include gates, because I don't want my animals just escaping into the rest of the farm. That could be very inconvenient. <laughs> so yeah, gonna get rid of these gates here. And I'm going to save them for later. Oh yeah, there you can see how decayed fences don't actually give you back any fence when you break them, which is quite annoying, but what are you going to do? Yeah, I think that looks nice. And since I'm so low energy right now, I might actually do some... Okay, you know what? This area is not going to be great for farming. It's not square-shaped enough. I'm going to get rid of that scarecrow, make some space in my inventory for him, and... Put them in my inventory. Right, so what I was starting to say before that was um, that I was thinking about fishing a bit, because I think that would be a nice way to get back some energy. I mean, it does uh, cost energy. <laughs> But, other than that, great way to get back energy. It's lagging when I do the fishing minigame. I don't get what's up with that. I don't know if that's going to show up on the stream itself, but it definitely is on my end. Oh good, green algae. Starting to feel exhausted. I sure am. No. Uh, 
I'm just going to wait for this next reel in. And then after that, I'm going to be done fishing. And I'm going to go to bed in game. Bugging me this tiny extra bit of... Okay, I'm actually gonna eat... Eat a parsnip. <laughs> Chop down that tiny little tree that's growing here. And... Okay, I gotta put stone. I gotta put some stuff in chests. Because I do not have enough space in my inventory right now. But once I've done that, I am going to... Collect that wood. Make some more wood path, and finally finish up that little space that was just sort of left empty and weird looking for a sec there. I wonder if you can craft lampposts in this game. Torches feel like a bit of a weird thing for this, like, modern farm. I mean, I guess lampposts aren't especially modern either. Oh. That actually is a good fishing spot. You can tell because of there, there are those bubbles there. So I am going to do a little more fishing. Yes. Okay. I think it just makes it more likely that you'll actually catch a fish. Or maybe it makes it so that there's less time before you reel anything in. I think it's the second one. It basically acts like bait. It just means that you are more likely to... Basically, it makes it quicker before you have to... Before you can reel it in. Jeez. I am just not talking today. Well, that's annoying. Oh, good. I reached... My absolute limit of exhaustion. Fortunately, the day was already pretty much over. I'm not going to bother eating this fish to get back my energy. I'm just going to walk real slowly to my chest and put this stuff away. And I think tomorrow in-game I am going to do that again. And then after that, oh good, I went to bed exhausted, so I only got back like half of my energy after sleeping. The realism. Now, um, I think after today, I'm going to be, I'm going to be done streaming for today. Uh, so what this letter says is, I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return it as soon as possible. I'm having a tough time without it, and I'll give you 250 cents. Um, <laughs> and that's from Robin. So at some point, I'm going to do that, but not right now. Right now, I'm going to... Ooh, Rusty Spur. Uh, that's an artifact spot that I just dug up. They look like worms, but they're not worms. They are artifact spots. Uh, so basically that just means you're more likely to find, like... It, it means that you're able to find things like this rusty spur that I just picked up. Which is what that essentially means. I'm going to find some seeds, some tree seeds that I had in my chests. And considering how low my energy is right now already, I might... Hmm. I'm trying to think of something that doesn't, con doesn't involve a lot of energy getting used up. I don't want to just completely cut the video short. Maybe I'll just 
go to bed right now in game go to bed and do another day where I'm not completely exhausted and out of energy because if you're out of energy you can't do stuff yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I believe you get stone fences when you reach farming level 2, probably? 2 or 3, something like that. So for now I have to stick with the crappy wood fences. Okay, everything is organized nicely, so I'm going to go to bed. Oh wait, first I'm going to do some fishing, actually. Fishing doesn't require a whole ton of energy, and I want to get better at fishing in this save, like I said. Because basically in this game, it's not like there's a level up system where, like, you kill enough monsters, you level up, you get to increase your mana or whatever. It's just there are five skills, uh, foraging, fishing, combat, mining, and farming, which I forgot despite this being a farming simulator for a second there, uh, and basically the more you use a skill, the better you get at it. So the more I fish, the better my character is at fishing. Oh good, soda can. Actually I may as well, nah I'm gonna save that. I was gonna say I might as well drink it to get back some energy. But I'm gonna wait until I'm actually out of energy to do that. The thing about trash, other than Joja Cola, is that you can actually recycle it once you get a certain item. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to save it rather than just getting rid of it. In this game, I'm kind of a hoarder in general because basically every item has a use later on even literal garbage that you fish out of the ocean. <laughs> I didn't mean to immediately reel it back in. I'm so great at the fishing minigame in this. Sure. Sure you are, me. I think that's my cue to drink that Joja Cola for... Did you notice that? Did you notice my energy go up? Because I didn't. Is weird. Like I said, keeps lagging out and the I don't know. It keeps lagging and messing up my, my rhythm. That's essentially what's going on here. Oh, I miscalculated. Okay, I'm gonna eat this fish, which, oh good, still considered exhausted. How much do I need to eat before it'll, can you even return from exhaustion? If I eat all of my parsnips, will I be able to, I'm not gonna risk that. 
I'm just gonna do tomorrow, and even if I have no energy, I'm going to end the video after that, because I'm not very good at being tactical about this energy management system, clearly. Yep. Half energy. Again. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is just water some stuff, do some fishing, eat the fish so I actually regain any energy, uh, and then end the video. Basically, the mayor just mailed me to say that there's an Easter egg hunt tomorrow, which you will see in my next stream, because I am not doing another day uh, with this kind of energy management. I promise later Stardew Valley play is not just trying to avoid becoming completely exhausted. Uh, it's going to be a little more interesting once my character is better at things, essentially is what I'm getting at. Because basically, the more you do of a, the more you do a skill, the less energy it takes to use that skill, which is quite realistic, I would say, actually. I don't know if you noticed the pink petals in the background, that's just to indi indicate that today is windy. Um, basically it just shows, like, petals falling off of trees in a nice looking way. Oh, I thought I heard something, so I reeled in. Again, Bryn proving that I am great at the fishing minigame in this. need to have less stuff running in the background or what, because it keeps happening, it keeps lagging out during the fishing minigame, and making it harder for me to actually fish properly. Oh, that one was on me. Something was there, and I failed to react in time. That was... that was my fault. <laughs> Soggy newspaper. The fishing life clearly agrees with me.
Crap. I was so busy trying to get the treasure that I did not actually get the fish or the treasure. Good. That's good. Great job, May. Caught the Loch Ness Monster, everyone. Eating animations in this game are interesting to look at. Oh wait, I meant that it was in... It was the longest one of that species I've caught. I mean, not as much of an accomplishment when I've only played an hour. And, no, more like two hours with this character, but... Alright, well, I think that's going to have to be a bit about it for today. 
So, hope you enjoyed, and see you tomorrow when I do Minecraft Monday. Bye!